Hey lovelies, welcome to my channel, Immigrate with Abby. If you are just coming across my smiling face for the first time, you are welcome. Here, I share tips on how to immigrate to Portugal via study based on my family's experiences. You will also be learning what living in Portugal is like because I'll be sharing my experiences as a Nigerian girl living here in Portugal. Therefore, after watching this video, if you love it here, like, subscribe, hit on the bell, then select all. What this means is whenever I post a new video, you will get a notification on your screen. Thank you. Today, I'll be walking you through some crucial documents you would need, you would ask to provide when applying for a graduate program in Portugal. However, it's important you are informed about admissions in Portugal because it's different from other countries I've seen. First, it's different because every program has a fixed number of vacancies in every given year. Second, getting admitted into any program does not only depend on how good your credentials are. No, it doesn't. But your profile will be compared to all other applicants and each applicant will be given a score. So admission will be given to the candidate whose score falls within the ranking positions needed, if that makes sense. For example, let's assume we have two students applying for two different programs, right? One has second class upper bachelor's degree, while the other has third class. Keep in mind, it's possible for the student with third class to be accepted into the program he or she applied for, while the student with second class upper will not be accepted. The difference between both of them is the ranking. That is why I'm making this video so you understand the documents that are essential to having a high ranking in your application. The first document you would ask to provide is your BSc certificate or your statement of results. I know some Nigerian students may not have gotten their certificate, so it's all right if you use your statement of results, it will be accepted. Second, you would need your transcript, guys. Please ensure your transcript has the scale of evaluation. I'm talking about the description of grades on transcripts. So if yours doesn't have it, kindly request for it because Portuguese universities will definitely need it. The third one is passport data page. Please ensure your passport validity is up to six months. In fact, I would say up to one year to be on the safe side before applying to any university. The fourth one is your passport photograph. There's actually no specification on passport photograph as long as it shows your face, but please ensure you get a standard one instead of using your phone to take one. The fifth one is your resume. So many students don't pay attention to this, but it's one of the most essential documents when applying for admission. Ensure your personal information are there, like your name, contact, email, and your address. Please, it's not necessary adding marital status or date of birth, you know, or religion. Some students even go as far as adding their local government. Those are not needed. But please ensure your education is there, very important. And also, you know, a short summary of your profession, maybe three to five lines will be okay. Yeah, ensure you add that. And also your work experience. Do not forget to include your work experience in your CV. This is very, very crucial. Yes, make sure it's well updated from the period you left school up until when you're applying for admission. The Portuguese universities want to know what you've been up to, like what you've been doing, the jobs you've done, maybe they are volunteer jobs, you know, whatever. Whether they were paid for or not, you have to include that in your CV, very important. Another important information you have to add in your CV is training and certificate. If you've had any certification on maybe programming, project management, NIM, whatsoever, please include them in your CV, it's very important. Also, academic research. 
98% of students do not consider this important, but it's very crucial. Please ensure you add all your past seminars, all your past research, you know, the projects you've done so far, include them under academic research. These are very important because they will give you a score on it. Remember, we are talking about ranking. Another document I think you should include in your CV is Statement of Purpose or Motivational Letter. Some schools may not need this for master's admission, right? But it's always good for you to have it, even if it's not on the list. It shows how serious you are. Also, regarding PhD students, all the documents I've mentioned so far, you will need them, including your MSc results, MSc transcript, and the statement of your research area. All these documents are highly essential when applying for admission in Portugal. If this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends because I believe so many people need this information. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button, that way you're supporting my channel. And please do not forget to turn on the post notification so you always get to know whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!